this is Riding With Re. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is a little bit of a weekend vlog. So the first half of the video is going to be myself and Woody going to a bitting clinic. I've never done anything like this before, but essentially it's going to be trying a few different bits out on Woody and seeing which ones he's most comfortable in. There was nothing particularly wrong with the way that he was going at the moment. I just wanted to make sure that he was the most comfortable that he could be. So I'm going to take you through all of the process. I filmed all of that using my Pivo, so I've got that for you. And the second half of the weekend vlog is going to a local dressage competition with my friend Lynn. This is the competition I mentioned in my Q&A video that I thought about taking Woody to and then decided actually maybe a little bit too early and we actually had two competitions going on this Saturday, so it would have been the same week. So I decided not to go with Woody, but as I had the day off anyway, I went along with Lynn. So I take you with us and we kind of vlog the journey. So that's this week's video. Next week's video, I hope is gonna be a little dressage vlog. We're doing two dressage competitions at home, an intro and our first prelim together. So I'm gonna vlog it because I haven't done that with Woody yet. And I'm gonna take you with me. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna watch that video and let's get into it. Goodness, my hat is a bit dirty, isn't it? Good morning. I'm so excited to have you with me this morning because I'm doing something that I have never done before. So today, Woody and I are having a bitting clinic, which is essentially where a bitter bridal fitter is going to come, look at Woody, I presume watch us ride and do a few bits and bobs, and then help us decide which bit he would be most comfortable in. So there's nothing particularly wrong with the bit that we have at the moment. Woody rides in a loose ring snaffle and he doesn't need anything stronger, but I have noticed that occasionally he like grabs the bit or he like leans on it so I wonder if there's just a solution that would make him a little bit more comfortable. Firstly I got these from B&Q the other day. They're a really fun colour and um, Woody basically needed a second bucket because he drinks like a fish and I got this because I thought this was the cutest colour ever so I'm gonna go and put those in his stable. So our bitting clinic starts at 11. It's 10 o'clock now. Woody went out first thing this morning so he could have a couple of hours of grass because our bitting clinic was kind of in the middle of the day. So I'm gonna go sort the buckets out and then I'm gonna get him in from the field, scrub him up, make sure he looks presentable for our bitting clinic lady and then I'm gonna try and vlog some of the process. She's happy to be filmed which is great so I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to take you on on some of the journey of what happens at a bitting clinic because it's the first time for me too so I'm very excited let's go the other thing I have actually since we're here is I went to Ikea the other day and I got some of those like plastic bags that are kind of like bug proof waterproof blah blah whatever proof because now that we're coming into spring I'm going to move some of his heavier rugs out of the stable and store them in these bags ready for winter next year that a lot of them have come back from rug laundry so now that they're clean I'm just going to store them away and we'll see if these bags do the job if these bags don't do the job and you know that please tell me in the comments so that I don't <laughs> make this mistake. Filling up the buckets. Absolutely love this colour. Right we're just going to grab Mr Wood. He's actually very good to catch which is lovely because it means I can do things like turn him out for an hour and a half and then bring him in. He's all the way. Actually I don't know if I can even see him. I know where he is but I can't see him on the camera. I think I think the hat over there anyway here's the boy band i was talking about got zach lyric our fun riding buddy and then mr wood if you're on the right hand side here we are that's not very helpful boys <laughs> poor old wood you want to go as well you're such a good boy aren't you what are they doing very unhelpful. Somebody's lost an overreach boot. Ooh. She'll pick that up. Are you the best? Are you the best boy? Come on then. Got Mr. Wood here watching the school. Gonna give his legs a quick wash so he's nice and presentable. He's a good boy. Looking very smart now with his nice white legs. We're all presentable. So now we're just waiting for the bitting lady. Hello. So this is Jill from Horsebiss Advice, who is here to do our bitting clinic today. You can't hear much of what we're saying, so I'm doing a voiceover instead. But essentially, Jill came over, asked a few basic questions about Woody that went on a form. We talked a little bit about what we do, what we're hoping to do, any kind of characteristics of his behaviour that she should know about. 
Jill then had a look around some specific points of Woody's head, checking for any sensitivities or signs of discomfort. And I'm pleased to say that she actually said Woody felt very, very comfortable. And then as she watched me tack him up, she was looking at the kind of tack that I use normally, any problems I have with that tack or anything we use for jumping that's different, etc. And she was also just looking to see how he behaved when he was being tacked up, because that can be a sign of discomfort as well. You could actually bit to you and him yeah. um, so with a very, a very light handed rider I might turn the seat and up a little bit yeah. with, uh, somebody might be a bit heavier handed I can turn it down a little bit so you know the horse is getting the oxygen chance to respond we just want him to under, you know you to ask the question and him to go oh okay yeah. I don't know what you mean so just that you're warm up like you normally would so as Jill mentioned there, I'm just warming up as I normally would in my normal tack, my normal way of riding. So a walk, trot and canter on each rein and trying to show a variety of shapes so that she can get a handle on how he's moving and how we ride together. And whilst I am riding, she's also asking me a few questions like, you know, is he is he leaning on your left hand? He seems less supple on this rein, is that correct? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm answering and saying, yes, he's harder on this rein and this rein and on this rein he does this and on this rein he does this. So that she can set us, get a sense of what's going on in the bit that we have at the moment. So once Jill had a sense of our partnership and how we were going, she went off to get a few bits and we took a walk break whereby I also took off my gilet because I was already getting too warm. <laughs> He is so well behaved, isn't he? I'll make a bomb-proof pony out of him yet. So Jill comes back with the first bit that she wants to try, so I jump off, we change the bit on the bridle. Whereas that's keep squeezing on his jaw, mm. this is not gonna do that because you've got that. Right, so it sort of doesn't move, is that what no. you mean, as much? Mm. But as he lifts his tongue, you've got a bit of um, lateral um, signal so when you want to kind of actually just lift into the corner of his mouth you can mm. just to get that flexion and they are so um, reflective of whether it's good bad or indifferent mm. I jump back on and then it's time to see what Woody feels like in this bit giving him a few minutes to get used to it walk trot canter and so on And again, as I'm going round, Jill is asking me how is he feeling, how she hopes he will be feeling in this bit, what it should feel like, to give a gauge of how we're getting on with this one. I then get off and we try a second bit. So Jill actually thinks the first bit we've tried could be the one for us, but she just wants to double check and make sure that I can feel the difference and that I'm also happy with the first bit, so we go to try a second one. Give him a walk to start with again and just sort of walk him shapes. So it's a feel for because oh, this you. one, although it doesn't collapse, there's a bit more roomy and it and it actually does that. So when you want the the bend, yeah, actually gives him a, a much clearer signal. But right, okay, he'll decide. So it would be interesting to see actually if you're seeing any differences between the two bits because initially I actually thought that I liked this bit more. Woody felt very light and very nice, but then I realized actually, as I began to trot and go a little bit faster, that there wasn't really a contact there. And that even though he felt light, it wasn't light in a good way. And actually Jill agreed. She said, you know, you don't, we don't quite have him where we want him. Um, so we ended up trying the other bit again and going back. And this time we added in some jumping. Let's pop him back in this and see how you feel. Oh, okay. I think initially he, he walked off very soft as he went, oh, you mean I've just got to put my head down. <laughs> yeah. um, but I don't think that was perhaps a true contact. I thought he No, he definitely felt... in the mouth with this. Yeah, he definitely bear. felt like he wasn't there as much. Like no. he felt almost too light. Yes. And um, I think that's that's what the difference is. Yeah. Oh, rains. Whoops. I forgot about the, <laughs> the rain. Um, and actually with him as well. Like you said, if you give him an inch of down, he goes all the way. Yeah. And then you, and you, you and lose him completely. That's not going to help him. Good he boy. just definitely needs to come up. Yes. And up, work up, off up. his bottom more. It's very hard work. Oh, it's so tiring. It is tiring. You are tiring today. 
I'm tired too. But yes, you see what I mean? He's so sweet. He's just, he's hard work because he's just a lot to keep up and he's together. He's long actually, isn't he? He is long and he's quite, he's got a lot of body as well. Like, mm. although he's, he's 16 one, he looks quite short because he's got short legs. Um, and I'm getting stronger all the time as well, so. There's that, and but it's he's really uh, early days, isn't it? it? Is. You know, it's just, it takes a year at least, oh, I think, to really get to grips with all the different seasonal changes. Yeah. And and then I wonder if we should jump. Just, um, I don't yeah, think we've got course. time, but cause that's when he tends to. I mean, he's, like I said, he's actually got a lot better, but. So we're approaching the jump in trot first and all of this footage by the way has been captured on my Piva which I was very impressed with this day. As with most of my videos I was filming this by myself so I was really impressed with my Pivo's ability to stay with me the whole time despite the fact that I am riding in a 40 by 40 arena. If you do want to find out more about Pivo there is a link in my in my description. It is an affiliate link of course so if you do decide to buy Pivo off something you've seen by me I do receive a commission. Thank you for supporting me. So we're coming round in canter because if Woody is going to take off after a fence he will do it from a canter and he felt very very balanced. In the bit that I have at the moment sometimes when we land from a fence I can feel him almost brace or be prepared for the bit to move or catch him and it doesn't matter what I do with my hands he seems to have this sort of memory of something being caught in his mouth. So it was really nice to see that with this particular bit which is designed to stabilize and stay still in his mouth that he seemed to jump a lot more comfortably. So here we are coming round on the other rain. Good boy. Yeah, he feels lovely, good boy. So that second jump solidifies it for me and we were both super happy with the bit in the end. Lovely, good and he boy. looks quite chilled, that's good. I'll write all that down for you. I'll bring your bit. Thank you very much. Good boy. So there we are. Hat hair. Fitting clinic done. Back out to the field. Good boy. Really good. Right. Off you go. undramatic. So for today's vlog we're doing something a little bit different. I have just arrived at Westlands which is a local yard. They have a dressage competition which is a sunshine tour qualifier. This is the competition that I was planning on bringing Woody to and I spoke in my last video about how actually I decided that I wouldn't bring him and that I want us to do a couple more at home and focus on those before I bring him out. Um, we've just arrived with Lynn's horse, Lyric, and I said I'd come along and just help them out and actually it is a really lovely venue so let me take you back to where we started which was at the yard and then catch you up and uh, have a lovely day. Let's go. So this is lovely Lynn and Lyric just getting ready. <laughs> Your face, Lyric. Good boy. Turn right at the roundabout, taking the third exit. Just arrived, looking nice and quiet and no rain so far, so fingers crossed it stays that way. You ready, Lyric? So Lynn's just getting changed and then it's on and down to the practice arena. Just heading down to the warm up. Got our sheet in case we need it. And lovely Lyric and Lynn. <laughs> Looking very smart. So Lynn is just warming up behind me. She's on the big grey. She's having a little warm up. Looks like a lovely venue. It's nice and quiet as well. So I will definitely be coming back here with Woody one day. Someone doing their test there. And then she'll be in in a moment. So as you can see, the warm-up arena is right next to the competition arena where the horses are actually doing their tests. So it's quite a challenge for the horses to really concentrate and really is a big test of whether the rider has them concentrating with them. But it's a lovely venue. It's super quiet. There's beautiful backdrop of trees. And I personally love these kind of arenas that have this sort of infinity backdrop. Yeah. 
So I checked in with Lynn as she was warming up and made sure she was all set and she didn't need a caller. And then I went and found myself a nice spot on a bench to watch her test. So here she is doing the test, that's the judge's car. And uh, I had a real prime time seat actually. As you can see, there's a dog that actually ran across the arena as she was doing her test. Someone picked him up quickly, but I thought that was really good of Lyric not to get distracted by the little dog. So here's a little look at her test and then it was off to see how she actually did. nice all finished we've just come to get Lynn's results <laughs> she only bloody won <laughs> the winner there you have it definitely a good weekend had by all and hopefully next time I'll be reporting from my own vlog where I've won with Audi perhaps one day let's put it out into the universe and hope that it happens um thank you so much for watching this video I'll be back next Friday at 4 p.m bst with our next one I'll see you then bye